Rebels will be playing for pride when they host the Inform Lions at AAMI Park, Melbourne on Saturday. The struggling Rebels will be hurting after their 44-3 humbling at the hands of the Kings. Their pride is no doubt wounded and they are also probably playing for their Super Rugby futures as they are in the frame as being an Australian side to be axed from next season. Unfortunately for them, they have never beaten the Lions. In fact, the melt their Super Rugby futures as they are in the frame as being an Australian side to be axed from next season. Unfortunately for them, they have never beaten the Lions. In fact, the Melbourne-based side have not beaten a side visiting from outside Australia for more than a year, the last being a win over the Cheetahs in Round 9, 2016. And to think they are going to turn it around now is naive thinking, especially with the injuries to key players. Captain and scrum half Nick Sturzacker has been ruled out while his backup scrum half Mitch Snowden is out for six weeks meaning they have had to recall Harrison Goddard from the Australia U20 side to provide cover on the bench. Their choice Ben Meehan will start. The Lions are on a six-match winning streak, the longest in their Super Rugby history. They are comfortably leading Africa Conference 2 and are second behind the Crusaders on the overall table. However, they will be slightly disappointed that they were not able to beat the force by a heftier margin last weekend. The tries have also dried up a bit of late and they will be looking to put that right this weekend against a leaky Rebels defense. They also know that the true test will come when they face the New Zealand sides and will be looking to ramp up their points difference before that. Expect the men from Johannesburg to run the ball more than they did against the force. Meanwhile, Rebels general manager of football operations Bodden Stevenson has bemoaned their recent injuries but knows this is not an excuse for performances that have simply not been good enough. We know that we've got the experience and skill, we've shown it in patches the season against the Chiefs, Waratahs, and Brumbies, so we've got to back ourselves and throw everything that we've got against the Lions on Saturday, Stevenson said. The last time the teams met, a last gasp converted try from Lionel Mapo saved the blushes of the Lions as they claimed to come from behind victory. The Rebels stormed into a 13-0 lead courtesy of tries from Mitch Inman and Jonah Placid and a penalty from Mike Harris. But the Lions responded in the second half with a Marnitz Boshoff try, two penalties from Elton Yonchis and of course Mapo's 77th minute try. Team News, Rebels head coach Tony McGahan has recalled the experienced trio of Toby Smith, James Hansen, and Laurie Weeks for the club's return to AAMI Park. Smith will make his first start of the season after he returned from a hamstring injury with 30 minutes off the bench against the Kings last weekend. Hansen and Weeks have been named in the run-on team for the first time since the victory over the Brumbies in Round 8. McGahan has made a total of six changes to the starting lineup with the inclusion of Locke Dominic Day, flanker Hugh Sinclair and scrum half Ben Meehan. Rebels U20 vice captain Harrison Goddard is set to make his Super Rugby debut at scrum half. Lions coach Johan Ackerman has made three changes. In the only change to the back line, Ross Cronje returns to start at scrum half where he takes over from Springbok number 9 of De Klerk who drops down to the replacements bench. The other changes are up front, with Lawrence Ersimus preferred to Andres Ferreira in the second row while Silly Brink comes into the run-on side on the flank where he replaces Ruan Ackerman. There are also some changes amongst the replacements forward cover. There are also some changes amongst the replacements. Acker van der Merwe and Hankus van Wyk come in as the backup hooker and tight head prop respectively while Ackerman and Robert Kruger will be the second row and loose forward cover. Form, the Rebels are in a rut. They lost their opening five matches before an extremely narrow win over the Brumbies and a draw with the Sharks. Just when it looked they were putting together a run, they were bought crashing back down to earth with a 44-3 walloping at the hands of the Kings last weekend. The Lions are in the best form they have experienced in Super Rugby history. The six in a row they have won since March 18th represents the longest winning streak in their Super Rugby history. They have won eight of their nine games this season, losing only to the Jaguars back in round three. Prediction, the Lions should roar to victory. Lions by 20. Previous results, 2015, Lions won 20-16 in Melbourne. 2014, Lions won 34-17 in Johannesburg. 2012, Lions won 37-32 in Johannesburg. The teams, Melbourne Rebels, 15 Reese Hodge, 14 Sifana Evalu, 13 Tom English, 12 Mitch Inman, 11 Marika Korawibut, 10 Ben Volavola, 9 Ben Meehan, 8 Amanaki Mayfi, 7 Colby Fengue, C, 6 Hugh Sinclair, 5 Dominic Day, 4 Steve Cummins, 3 Laurie Weeks, 2 James Hansen, 1 Toby Smith. Replacements, 16 Silva Silva, 17 Faraday Saaga, 18 Tyrell Lomax, 19 Kulam Riedelik, 20 Will Miller, 21 Harrison Goddard, 22 Jackson Garden Backup, 23 Jack Maddox, Lions, 15 Andres Kutsi, 14 Sylvian Mahusa, 13 Lionel Mapo, 12 Harold Vorster, 11 Court Nalsko San, 10 Elton Yonchis, 9 Ross Cronje, 8 Warren Whiteley, C, 7 Silly Brink, 6 Quagga Smith, 5 Franco Mustard, 4 Laurens Erasmus, 3 Ruan Dreer, 2 Malcolm Marks, 1 Jacques Van Ruyen, Replacements, 16 Acker Van der Merwe, 17 Cornfury, 18 Hankus Van Wyck, 
19 Ruan Ackerman, 20 Robert Kruger, 21 Dylan Smith, 22 Jacques Nell, 23 Anthony Valmink. Date, Saturday, May 6th. Venue, AAMI Park, Melbourne. Kickoff, 1500 hours local, 5 o'clock GMT. Referee, Shuhei Kubo, Japan. Assistant referees, Ed Martin, Australia. James Leckie, Australia. TMO, Ian Smith, Australia.